We're ready. What do we have to do? Okay. Just listen. Just listen. Shh, cut down something. Okay. So I brought you guys here today to talk about school-based physical therapy. So physical therapy in itself is helping the body recover or maintain or strengthen any physical aspects that have been, let's say, defective or out of the norm. So objective today is how school-based physical therapy is performed, why it's important, and how you as parents can help. Students who qualify for school-based therapy usually have some sort of disability, such as Down syndrome or cerebral palsy. As therapists, we work as functional skills such as posture. As two out of three of you have posture, but bad postures as now, you just fixed it. <laughs> when does a child sit and raise their hand in the air? Huh? When does a child sit and raise their hand in the air? At school. At school, at school when they have to have ask questions. Yeah. So the main goal is to improve, you know, their 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 um their body structure so that when they raise their hand, you know, they're doing it in an anatomical way versus like this and they tip topple over because they have, let's say, a surgery from scoliosis. But they just fix their scoliosis and now they're imbalanced, they don't know how to sit up straight anymore. So that's what we do. We help to correlate their core strength, their balance, their coordination, and their mobility. So the main goal for physical for school based physical therapy is to improve, improve all of the above. And you as parents can help by being supportive and follow intervention exercises, which we will demonstrate a few of them. And the program that they use in schools is called the Individual Education Program, which is a, a chart of parents, teachers, physical therapists, sometimes occupational therapists, and we all work together to help improve the child mobility and learning skills. So today we have, what's your name, child? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'll be doing. All right, Katana, come on down. So the exercise we're gonna the exercise we're gonna do today is you're gonna stand over here, and then you're gonna pretend you're gonna pretend like you have an imbalance issue. Put this down. So this is called a gait belt. This is what we use to hold on to our patients so that they do not fall. So pretend to fall forward. So then, look, see, I got you. All right, so you have nothing to worry about. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna lean forward a little bit because you have you have a spinal issue, right? And then you're gonna look forward and you're gonna step over each cone very slowly, there you go. And turn around and then back again. And simple as that. Those are like some of the simple exercises that we do to help improve her back issues, her coordination, and her stability. And we have another contestant down today, Caitlin. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit down. And then I'm going to sit over here. And then we're going to have your knees over here. And you're going to take one beat. Take one beat. side so this will help this will help the child manage their core strength and their lower back also their posture <laughs> <laughs> which will also help them in circle time when they're in a group like doing circles so when they're passing stuff so they can pass stuff without falling over and hurting themselves and posture posture <laughs> and that's it any questions no 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 posture set your posture does suck. That's why I'm here. I'm here to help you. And that's all. You know, and that's all. So what was that for? That was for school. Was that in school? Can you just make sure that you record it, please? Right? I mean, I'm on my break. I'm not supposed to be doing school. 